Hello, my name is Mark, and this video lecture is word problems involving applications of quadratic equations. So let's read the problem. We need to find two consecutive odd integers whose product is 63. Okay, so anytime it says two consecutive odd, well, the difference between each consecutive odd is two. Anytime we don't know something, we represent it with a variable. So I'm going to represent the first consecutive odd integer with an x. And the second consecutive odd integer with x plus 2. And what does it tell us? Well, it tells us the product. What is product? Product means multiply. So what are we going to do with these two consecutive odd integers? We're going to multiply product and it says is 63. Well, anytime you see is in a problem, that means put an equal sign down and it says it is 63. Okay? And then now here we got to distribute, so x times x gives you what? x squared and then 2 times x gives you what? 2x is equal to 63, so I need to subtract 63 from both sides. So I have x squared plus 2x minus 63. These cancel. And all that equals 0, okay? And then now I need to set up this binomial times a binomial. Okay. So anytime it's just uh, a 1, okay, anytime this is a singular binomial like x squared or y squared or something like that, where well, the coefficient is 1, okay, so when the coefficient is 1, there's only two numbers in the world that can give you x squared, that's x times x. So the only question is, okay, what two numbers multiply together to give us negative 63 and add to give us a positive 2? Well, that's uh, what? 9 and 7. Okay, so negative 7 plus 9. Okay. And then we set both of these equal to 0. And then we solve for those two equations. So I'm going to have to add 7 to both sides over here. And the other one, I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. Okay. And so x will equal 7 over here. And over here, x equals negative 9. Now, if you notice, your problem didn't say anything about these integers being uh, didn't say anything about the integers being positive or negative. Okay, all it said has to be odd. So if x is seven, okay, and we're dealing with x and x plus two, if x is seven over here, then x plus two has to be what? Nine. And then if x equals negative 9, what's uh, x plus 2? Negative 7. So we have two sets of solutions. We have two sets of solutions, okay? One could be 7, 9. And the other could be negative 9, negative 7. Okay. So this might have been my video about word problems on applications of quadratic equations. You can look me up online www.supergenius99.com. Thank you for listening.